Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and we're back with another episode of Coaster Spotlight. And in today's video, we're gonna be looking at Nightingale, created by Synchros. So stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, this was sent in by one of our Discord builders and silver patrons, Synchros. Thank you so much for your support. You're helping to keep the show go on. Really appreciate it. And uh, he says, hey, Johnny, this is my latest creation, Nightingale. It's a medieval fantasy coaster blueprint best enjoyed at both day and nighttime, though you should ride nighttime first the queue and exit both run over a bridge i intended it to have a moat going around the castle but there is a bit of minor terraforming involved when placing hope you enjoy and keep up the hard work on the channel synchros all right quick look at the steam workshop everybody nightingale by synchros come over here rate it favorite it subscribe to it and if you guys remember a few episodes ago we featured his first ever creation he got a promotion and uh he's fairly new to the game so i think you'd really appreciate it if he got his first uh three star item guys so come over here if you own the game and give him a rating and help him uh get a three star for his first time are you saying something about a moat so i guess i was supposed to uh terraform here and i didn't i didn't get the uh the hint until reading so we can quickly do that here all right fill that up with some uh, calm water Where's the highest point that I can fill it? There we go. And that's how it's meant to be. So, as I mentioned earlier, Synchros was featured for his first time ever, his first creation just a couple spotlights ago. And, um... Yeah, he did a pretty good job on his first... He's been watching the game, following the game on my channel, and eventually he was inspired to, uh, essentially... Um, buy the game and start playing. Now you have a little thing sticking out here that you might want to remove from your blueprint because it's moving the center point and if someone's trying to push it, put it, place it on the edge of the map, they won't be able to because that's there. So you might want to just delete that and re-upload it or update it. So there you go. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, he's, he's, he's bas basically been following the spotlights and watching and learning and this is his second coaster I believe. And it's actually very impressive. If you look at all the artistry gone into the buildings, and uh, as I was mentioning in the last episode of his, he pays attention to all the details of the checklist of a coaster spotlight. So I'm going to assume the nighttime lighting's there and really well done. There you go. Oranges and blues, complementary colors, some nice beiges over here, peaches. Some really nice lighting on this as well. And he gets it. For a very new builder, new to the game, he gets it, and I love it. Uh, Nightingale probably could have used a little bit uh, a more of an immersive or uh, characteristic of the sign. More character in there. Nonetheless, this kind of looks like a shield, so I guess it works. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. It kind of has that Stormwind vibe with the, the blue and the yellow and the gray. A little bit of a Warcraft vibe going on here. Uh, lots of detail in the building. The color palette's really good. The coaster design looks quite good, too. Is this a... Uh, it's the new corkscrew? Yes, it's the Deegan, I think that's what it's called. So it's a brand new coaster that came with the summer update, guys. Uh, we just saw it in an episode or so ago, and I really like it. I love the color. The I love the material on it. The metal has this uh, kind of chromey look to it, and it's really nice when you color it. So here's the boarding station. Beautiful work on the inside. Lots of detail. Like I said, for um, he was just a new builder, promoted instantly to builder, and just even for just a builder, he really gets it. And I, I think this is a really immersive, uh, well-constructed blueprint. So good job on this. Uh, I'm excited to ride the coaster. So we took a peek at nighttime already. So let's look at the stats. 6.9 excitement, 5.5. Uh, fear and a 1.32 nausea 73 seconds in duration and 1100 meters in length So there you go. How many trains are on this just the one 
but it's not that long. I usually say if the coaster is about 60 seconds in duration, uh, one coaster on, you, you don't need blocking sections to get two coasters running on it. Uh, one should be fine considering how many people fit on the coaster. So the capacity is still good and it's still going to make money and people aren't going to be waiting too long. As you can see, it's just filling up again and then it's going to load up in a second. So shouldn't be too bad for them in terms of a wait. All right, let's get on this. All right, here we go. Oh, look at that view. Going right to the top of the tower. Hey, man. Peter's blowing up. I love the way you've wrapped it around the castle like that. Very playful. It kind of reminds me of uh, Lauren's Princess Emily's revelry with a, just a little different of a, a tone to it. It's, the, it's a little bit more uh, boyish. <laughs> There's that one support that we crashed through there. That's a little unfortunate. there. Very nice. Lighting in that cave, wow. It's really nice.
well done. Absolutely love it. Synchros, you, for a brand new person to the game, you are absolutely on a tear. I love the last two creations from you. This one is definitely more impressive than your last one, and it is your newest creation, so you're definitely upping your game already in terms of the artistry and detail gone into it compared to your last one. So, I mean, two creations, one after the other, I'm already seeing gigantic improvements from you. That is very impressive to me, so keep doing what you're doing. Compete in the contests. Keep submitting coasters or making coaster blueprints and uh, keep keep doing what you're doing because I think you're a monster in the making. Uh, very good work, my friend. So there you go, everybody. That was Nightingale by Synchros and that's going to do it for this episode of Coaster Spotlight. If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more Daily Planet Coaster videos. If you guys want to support the show and keep it going, you can do so by becoming a patron or by leaving a tip or donation using the links down in the description below. All right, everybody. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Floating speaker. Bye now.